Good morning. Welcome back. Um, I just wanted to do this video and show you what I had done last night to my um, the wig companies, two wigs that I have purchased from them. I had worn them for about two weeks, three weeks, almost every day, alternating back and forth, back and forth. And I did throw in main attraction once, maybe every third or fourth day and just wore her for a few hours. So this comparison is just basically the two wig companies, Fashion Fever and Catwalk. Um, this one is Fashion Fever. And this is um, in Strawberry Whip. And this one is Catwalk. And this is a fuller wig, very curly, very uh, voluminous, I guess. And this one is Golden Auburn with Blonde. I have to tell you that... Um, the fibers did very well for wearing for two weeks, off and on, alternating each day. And I washed them for the first time last night. And this is the end product. They washed out so stinking cute. Um, that is the back. And I am very happy with the fibers, the friction, or lack of any, any problems with the back. Um, they are very, very, very satisfying to me. Here's the back of Fashion Fever. And Fashion Fever to me, the reason why I washed her, it seemed like the ends were just getting dry. Like, like it just getting dry. So I thought, let me wash them both and see, and see how they look. Now, all I did was, and that's, that's the, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, the, the curls are absolutely beautiful. The color, I mean, it even shines, it's healthy shine. Now, what I used, I still had some of this from when I first bought my, my, my first wigs. I, I, I bought this, you know, with, with my first wigs on, on Amazon, we're on Amazon. And this is the uh, Brandywine shampoo. Okay. I bought a set. The brandy wine conditioner so what i did was i took both of them i put them in a big tub of cold water i spritzed maybe i don't know a teaspoon of this swished it around first then put the wigs in let them sit for about 10 minutes swished them around gently gently swished them around took them out hand hand wrung them laid them aside dumped the water took the uh tub you know it was i did it in my tub turn on the faucet and just ran both of them under it to get out any of the suds that was left from the shampoo when that ran clear i filled up the tub again and i put cold water in again and i put the conditioner about the same thing maybe a teaspoon swish that around let them sit in there for about 20 minutes um again you know gently rubbing them rubbing them rubbing them and then um let me show you a little trick here I went to, anyway, pull them out, gently rub them dry, not ring them, wring the excess off. I bought myself, went to the dollar store, and I bought the, for women, yeah, we have hair, you know, the ones that still have hair, um, you know, to wrap your hair up in after you take a shower, let you wash it. I bought these. These are excellent. They're terry cloth. They're very gentle. They're a perfect size. And I just lay the wigs in, roll them up. Gently sit them in there for a few minutes, you know, until it till I'm satisfied. Take them out, shake them. Then I spritz on the detangler, all on basically on the on the inside of the back, of the, the you know the nape area. Work that in there a little bit. Take my wide wide tooth comb gently, you know, work my way up, making sure there's no tangles. And then I just I usually take them and hang them upside down. Well, my stand like this, upside down, and that's how they dry. Now, I have to tell you, the, the fibers on these, the wig companies, I cannot believe how full she, she turned out and how shiny, healthy shiny. When I say shiny, I mean healthy shiny, like, you know, it... It, it it it's very pleasing. I I can't wait to wear these. Today I've already um, put on for the first time in a long time. This is my um, Vivica Fox, 
and her name is Goldie V. It is a very full wig. Um, this I purchased her back probably in September, early October, and I've only worn her a handful of times. Like I said, she's a very full wig. Here's a picture of the card that came with her. She is a Swiss lace front. To come, the Swiss lace front for whatever reason itches my my scalp, my 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 forehead. So I usually put on. I told I, I said this before. I've had this in my medicine cabinet, and I pulled this out, and this works for me. I know they sell wig stuff, but I already had this, so I just used this. I put this on with a cute little Q-tip, and I'm good to go. This this will this will be fine for the whole day. I do have bangs. I did put bangs in her when I first got her because I I felt as though my forehead was too harsh, not having something coming down to cover it. But Goldie Goldie V in TP, which means the the the, the ends the tips are, are, are blonde or very blonde uh, TP 613-27 I if memory serves me she was under $40 like $36 something like that let me give you it is a head of hair it is a lot of hair and I'm not thinner other than the, the bangs that's it oh and I did cut off maybe an inch of the the, the tip it was just too it came out to here it was just too blonde it was just so I'll give you turn around on her. I do have a lot of the hair pulled back in a claw clip. And this is how I generally like to wear her. I have worn her up, um, which is a little bit of the tendrils sticking down at some, some uh, very nice party I went to, and I did wear her up. And I got lots of compliments from people I did not know saying that I have beautiful hair. And that was one of the first experiences, and I didn't know what to say. And I just took the compliments and I thought, well, that's, I don't know. I just took it. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Now, if the woman that, there was, there was like three or four of them, if they had had hair issues themselves and I seen that they were struggling with their own bio hair, I may have said something, but they weren't. And I didn't forward any more information. I let them think it was my hair. I know, shame on me. But, okay, well, I just wanted to, um, touch base and just show you what I woke up this morning with, um, with the, with my two wig companies, hair, the, the wigs are, they're beautiful. They washed out beautiful. I am very, very pleased with it. Um, you know, uh, makes me want to wear one now, but I'm already situated to go to leave for work like this. And I haven't been blonde. I wore it a gale hmm, a week or two ago for the first time in a long time. And now the gale, I'm waiting for, I, I, I already did a video, I'm waiting for the silicone, uh, the tub of silicone to come. The Gale, uh, the Paul Young Gale, I, it, it's beautiful, but the ends just seem like they're dry also. And I have tried washing her in this brandy wine stuff. I have tried with the, the downy and the water. And I even tried the argon oil. And it just seems like she's dry. And I just want to try the silicone um, rub on her to see if I can save it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to cut a, a little bit more off. And um, you know, I don't want anyone to do that. I want to try and keep her length. So I'm waiting for that to come. And I'm waiting for two more, uh, two more wigs to come. One from the wig company and one from Paula Young. And Paula Young, I, I, I ordered the Phoebe. And I've been looking at her for quite a while. And they had sent me, again, they got me. They sent me an email. And when I opened the email, I got all this 30% off code and free shipping. And I couldn't resist. So Phoebe cost me less than $50. And she's, I think she retails for $89.99. I don't know what the actual retail is, but she's always on sale for $89.99. Well, now I got her for under $50. And, um, and then the new vibrant is my exchange and I'm waiting for that to come in one of the red tones. I exchanged her for, uh, I thought she was red and she was and she had amber tips and it was more of a, of a honey. And, and I, I, I think it's too dark for me. I don't know. Uh, comments came in. A lot of people liked it. Some people said, you know, exchange her. So I exchanged her and, and it was a pretty color, but it just wasn't, I just wasn't feeling it at that time. Um, but anyway, all right. So any comments, please ask, you know, ask me the comments and, and I, I love reading them. Um, thank you to the new subscribers that I just received over the weekend. It's very exciting. Um, seeing, seeing my, uh, 
my totals uh, going up and people asking me questions and and uh, leaving comments. I love uh, over the weekend. I, I, I talked to a few nice nice women out there. Um, as soon as I get the wigs in, I will do the review. I don't know when that will be. And like I said, the they washed so pretty. I mean, you always wonder how they're going to wash. Um, and these, these, the, the, these two wigs from the wing company, I'm very, like I said, I'm very happy that I purchased them and that, um, I'm very happy with how they are turned out, how they turned out after the wash. All right. Well, with that, I got to get ready and go to work. And I just wanted to uh, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for, for checking in with me and watching this video. Um, maybe you have some tricks out there that you could share or leave a comment below on, on any more ideas, um, any other products that you do use that I know these brand new wine things, they weren't, they were, they weren't cheap. I'm going to say maybe $25, which isn't, you know, an exuberant amount of money, but, um, you know, I mean, I'm down, I'm probably down to hear about it. So in five months I've used that much. Like I said, the first couple weeks I purchased, I was very rough with, and I, overwash them and I over conditioned them and I over detangled them and I think I just helped ruin the first couple that I purchased um they just got worn too quick and you know like I say I always say less is more less is more so like I said I I I, I washed I washed fashion fever because she felt like the ends were just getting a little bit dry and and now now she doesn't look dry she doesn't feel dry so anyway all right well have a great day till next time hopefully it'll be soon um god bless out there and bye bye